hello everyone welcome to new vj vjs tutorial so this is the tutorial number five and we will learn how to work with the radio button and select in view so you can refer to this github repository that github.com slash pro software de development learn view and here we will learn working with uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn with working with radio button and select in view so we will learn how to bind a form having radio button and select component using view so we will let's start with the tutorial so you can create click on the button new file in your uh, directory and you can name this as index 5.html so since this is a since, since we have uh, like created a this is our fifth tutorial so we have uh, we have worked on this so yeah so sorry for the interruption yeah so let's carry on with the tutorial so what we can do we can uh, from the previous template we can uh, control copy this uh, select all using control a and we can paste it here and what we'll do we'll do the changes to learn view tutorial number five and when we and we will remove all this script tag okay so we remove this script tag and we also remove the uh, this body tag so yeah so let me close this uh, file explorer yeah so we have a uh, like a simple raw and raw html page with uh, uh, this view script added so what we can do so we can click on this open in reveal in fi file explorer and you can double click on this and close this so this would open the page in your yeah browser so like perfectly fine so what you can do you can click on right click and inspect to check whether Vue.js is running or not on the console yeah it's perfectly running so what we need to do today we will learn about the radio buttons so what you can do yeah so you can add a radio button so let's create a div we'll create a form so form id is equal to so let this be my form and you can also do this without a form just for the, uh, it will also work div id is equal to my form we can close this div yeah so what you can do what you can do uh you can create a uh like what you can do you can do input type is equal to radio and id is equal to uh you can give it a, any id depending on your value so let's to took this as male and because we are corresponding to the gender and the value is equal to male okay now what you can do we can create label for male and you can yeah perfectly fine so this is male and you in the same way uh, you can do input type is equal to female oh sorry input type is equal to radio and id would be female and what you can do id is equal to female and value is equal to female and you can do label for and this label could depend on the id so female would be the id and you can give the value female so this looks perfectly fine so when i move to the page i would refresh this and here you can see i have two options but you can right now you have you can see uh, this option uh, isn't working with like the radio button out of the radio button it is like a multiple choice question so you can select only one out of the choices uh, the choices could be any number of choices but you can 
uh, choose only one so this isn't working right now the reason being that we have not used uh, like what you can do one thing i'll tell you uh, one thing you can do you can put a name tag and name is equal to gender and you can put this name is equal to gender here also so okay okay just a minute i'll show you one thing okay let it this be this form so i'll close this editor yeah so right now i'll refresh this page so i can click uh, all the choices that's and that is an uh, that is not that is not the use case of a radio button in the radio button you can choose select only one choice of the multiple uh, only uh, you can select only one choice of the multiple choices given to you so it is like a mcq multiple if you have a mcq question that is multiple choices you can choose any only a one option so but this time we are, use, we are choosing two so this is invalid to remove that what you can do you can add a name is equal to gender and name is equal to gender and you can refresh this page and now you can select only one out of the two but we are going to implement the same functionality using Vue.js so what we can do first we will create a view component constant view okay but before that we are going to create a script tag okay yeah perfectly fine so we will do add a script tag yes so here is our script tag and we'll do constant view component is equal to new so compo uh, like so spelling is wrong component so constant view component is equal to new view and it will have a json object we all know it will have an element is equal to and we will give the id hash hash my form and the data is going to be there and in the same way the method is going to be there so let's refresh this page so the page works perfectly fine and we can do console block console dot log view component so let's refresh the page so perfectly fine now what i'm going to do we i'll make a data uh my choice okay so what you can do we can pick a data my choice and uh, you can create this my choice uh okay you can choose this to be null okay so my choice in the beginning is null and what you can do instead of this gender or you can choose this to be gender let this be gender and we can we model this we model you to gender so this is perfectly fine and now we can refresh this page and what you can do you can print this value or, or render this value on the component so let's refresh this when i click on female it's female when i click on male it is male female or male female or male okay so first we did that did using the name but now we did using the v model that's perfectly fine so we'll continue with the uh, another uh, uh, another learning on the next tutorial so this is uh, for this tutorial only okay so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial thank you